Hey fam, I felt compelled um, to release another, to make a quick video. You know, the 15 minutes is never long enough, but you know, for my attention span, it's probably way too long. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, if I was on the opposite end watching or listening to anyone rant about some stuff. Um, however, since um, I, I believe I'm a part of a community that actually knows what the heck is going on, um, it doesn't come as a surprise, um, what's going on now. Um, you know, I, I, my previous video, I talked about my dream about, um, a volcano exploding right in the middle of our houses <laughs> and we had to get to safety and some people weren't going to make it. Um, and I just wanted to kind of, um, you know, expand on that, um, because, you know, a dream is one thing, um, you know, and it may be, it might be taking place in another dimension, in the spiritual world, uh, realm, uh, in higher places. But we're here right now, too. Right, right here and right now. Um, there's a lot of chaos going on in the world. I mean, it's not like it's, there's never any chaos. There's always some type of events going on because that's nature. Nature does not stand still. Um, it is uh, constantly in action. Um, and so, um, you know, there are gonna, there are some upheavals that are going on, and um, obviously some distractions. Um, you know, I've taken a look at my usual YouTubers. You know, unfortunately, I've um, started um, unsubscribing because as you start gaining wisdom um, towards uh, the truth of things, you start realizing some people are aren't what they say they are, and aren't who they say they are, and. Um, it's a little scary realizing that there are people who have been who are in the black community who are in the peace and love community that are definitely um, agents um, and you know one of the things that I've realized is that some of these agents they you know like almost in the matrix they can just take over your body your mind and definitely try to steal your soul um, they basically can just mimic everything that you've you've um, uh, uh, re remembered, experienced, and um, these negative entities, you know, who are Jinn or Jinn's children, come right in, and they're smart. They're super smart, and so they can play act all they want. And uh, you know, one of the things I find that's funny is that you know, <laughs> they show that they can do this very, very, very well. Um, if you look at movies, if you ever um, listen to any um, actors talk about when they go into these. Um, hypnotic states in their movies and how they always say something just kind of takes over me and then it just it just you know it comes through me um, or these magicians you can see that you know there's another force um, you know participating in the lie and the deception and uh, this is a part of it as well um, it, it's very deep and it's very real um, you know Especially when, when, if you research anything about cloning or, um, you know, people, I've, I've personally had a personal experience several times with them trying to take over my soul. Um, I mean, it, it was a constant thing. They keep trying and trying and trying and it doesn't stop until they get what they want. And, uh, they're very persistent and they have agents out there, um, you know, who work at it as well. So... You know, that's how I know that um, uh, it's a never ending until the greatest one says enough. <laughs> until the greatest one says enough. Maybe you've gained your your um, experience, your lessons, and it's time for you to move on to something else when you're ready. Um, you know, uh, and uh, uh, we'll stop we'll stop them dead in their tracks. I'm actually going through that exactly at, at this point in time. I'm uh, experiencing change in my life. Where I've where I'm coming I've you know gone in between being clean and sober and not and uh, even the you know smoking that's being clean and um, you know just uh, trying to be stronger in life um, you know have a better will about me and the demons just kind of they they almost like <laughs> itch and it slide off <laughs> it's like really a very interesting experience. <laughs> Um, it's like they're hitting a wall of water or force and they can't get through it and they're very angry and um, you know 
I think a lot of us who are coming through this time, who are going to experience this upheaval, are also going to experience these demons run, running amok because they have realized that there is they may not be able to penetrate our force fields. <laughs> the greatest one's force fields. <laughs> and it's uh, quite the thing to experience. Um, to have, for, for the greatest one, for the creator to have your back. Um, but at the same time, it also brings wisdom that um, you may not be ready for. Um, it gives you, start, you start getting the ability to, sp to, to see through the veil. And um, it's very disheartening personally because uh, and, and everyone has a journey by the way so when it's time for you to I mean like you know you're not gonna I, just because someone tells you that they've seen something or experienced something does not mean that you will have the same experience it's it's very personal you're gonna have to go through it yourself where you're gonna have to learn discernment and it's not easy it's it's really um, but it once you gain knowledge and understanding and wisdom I, I would dare to say and I'm not one of those people that's like, <laughs> I'm full of wisdom at all. I'm not like that at all. But through experience, you gain knowledge. And through that, wisdom. And um, you, you start understanding how the game is being played. And why they have so many different agents. And agents aren't just human. They use animal forms, spirit forms, um, technology. All right? Um, why they follow? Why they got you? Why they? Why they? They're trying to stop any ability to gain your force field and gain wisdom. Now, and that's why I find it very interesting that you know, if you look at Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, some of these men, they were here for a time, a short period of time, and they spread a message. Um, and that message has come and gone. It's been, it's been, um, you know. Um, taken and manipulated in some way but it's starting to kind of come back also I find that maybe certain messages weren't ready those people had gained wisdom and discernment in their time um, and they were spreading that message but other people weren't ready for it maybe the universe wasn't ready maybe there weren't enough people who were spiritually ready um, to handle um, the deceit the deception and um, they left but they um, a message stayed here about how to handle the situation and you know when you look back at some of their teachings um, they clearly explain what's going on um, for example police officers you know I, I'm just gonna say right now that's a distraction they're part of the Masonic Brotherhood you know um, there's a lot of other stuff going on for example Hillary Clinton just got exonerated or whatever the FBI said oh no there's nothing going on with her F for her her emails if you look at any of the tapes by um, you know the Senate committees they they show that um, she um, divulged classified information apparently to parties that are not in the government or were not qualified to see that information however the actual people in the government the senators are not allowed to access that that information because they're held by a third party which they cannot um, disclose on public record some type of hidden third shadow government um, like <laughs> now if you could understand what I just said I basically said that um, a sen sen she divulged information to third parties that are not a part of the government or not qualified through her own personal email servers classified information supposedly now you know I don't give a shit about this white man's culture and their bullshit all right, because this is all bullshit. Cares about classified. What in the world's classified? <laughs> what in the world could be that important that it's got to be classified all the time? No one's allowed to see it. Everything's a shadow. Everything's hidden behind a veil. This is kind of you know when you look at all this type of stuff, it's just it just shows you over and over and over and over again what you don't want to be a part of. Um, and their houses are burning down. And uh, you know you can it's you can look at the small mi microscopic um, point, or you can look at the big picture. The big picture is kind of big, so I would suggest you kind of keep it small <laughs> and and try to uh, radiate in your own area, um, because the big picture um, is quite kind of vast and it involves a lot of people, 
and um, you know for again um, is a you know I was talking about the police and how they're just basically a distraction they're they're like the uh, soldiers you know the local soldiers they've got regular military soldiers but they got other soldiers like I said agents you know in many different faces many different factions all over the place you know these gin are good at what they do um, and they've been basically um, you know messing with people they're like y'all ain't smart enough to figure shit out we gonna mess y'all up I'm gonna keep it up until you um, gain a spiritual awakening and that means getting closer to the to nature getting closer to the creator and um, so that their power is reduced um, it's it's very it's a very brilliant and beautiful thing if you ask me to go through this experience um, because you um, you have it forces you to grow now I'm getting stung in my ear um, that means that the jinn um, you know who are the evil ones um, have a an agenda um, to me they you know after I've had my dream they're gonna be working on me trying to figure out a way so that they don't have to um, go through that experience they're gonna they want to run they don't want to have to go through um, having their houses burned down they want to tag along um, the dream already showed that the negative ones they don't mind grabbing up kids and acting like they ain't doing nothing <laughs> holding kids and acting like they are um, uh, are innocent like they're part of the innocence okay um, or you know <laughs> <laughs> they're very good and so um, it's good to come to the realization that the greatest one is the judge the one <laughs> the judge jury executioner everything all right and just try to go about your life but if you don't want these people in your life they don't have to be and that's how that's that's how I feel it's like if they constantly it, you know you're not allowed to come with me <laughs> and wherever I'm going I don't want you there with me. I want all soul contracts canceled. All right? You're not allowed to tag along into my life and into my future with me without my permission. That's where I that's basically where I'm coming from. You know, uh you know, and yeah. You know, you can forgive universal love all that other stuff, but do you really want that entity being a part of your life and and possibly just destroying it or disrupting it or continuing to suck out your life force wherever you may be going and I'm pretty sure that's one of their plans um, to uh, tag along where you're going and then they get more energy to suck out and more time um, before so that they um, can't be uh, removed uh, they're, they're looking to, to stay with you um, and uh, you know we don't I don't want it and I'm putting it on tape. I don't want it. Leave me alone. And you're stuck here. You're gonna see. You're gonna see your house burned down. And uh, you know, sorry. And those of us who are starting to discern and understand what this whole thing is about, um, it's really kind of kind of a beautiful thing to see it unravel. And it hurts at the same time. Um, but you you know you're not gonna experience an upliftment by just you know staring at a wall or reading a book you got to you got to you got to experience it and the greatest one knows that it's got to be at a genetic level also so that means that you have to go through it um, in some way and um, gonna we might experience our houses burning down too. my house already burnt down I ain't got no house if you can see this is my house outside my house <laughs> you know love is a part of my house um, and I'm a part of that house of love, I'm not part of nature, and um, realize that we're all a part of something. And um, but you ain't gotta exp you ain't gotta put up with no abuse. If someone's abusing you, ain't gotta put up with it. And uh, you know all these protesters that are distracted by these pol police brutality, don't put up with the abuse. Move on and um, experience love and life. I'm not saying those those victims should, but I'm just saying that just recognize everything for what it really is. Peace and love, fam.